includes a disturbing insight into how Queensland police can deal with the homeless. Captured on video surveillance cameras, a man whom police admit was disturbing no one is kicked and punched while being pinned to the ground. The subsequent treatment of Mr Willemay was shown in court, despite objections from the police prosecutor. Under cross-examination, the arresting officer said he thought it was appropriate to force Mr Willemay on the ground and knee him. We have thousands of interactions with homeless people every year. Very few of them result in complaints. Um, of course, there will always be occasions where people behave in a way that we don't um, see as suitable and we'll take appropriate action. But shortly before midnight on March the 20th, Peter Willemay and his friend were anything but violent. So I was sitting down there very nicely, comfortable and all that, and then suddenly they come and harass me. A police officer tells Mr Willamay he cannot drink alcohol in a public place and asks him to get rid of his drink. When he refuses, the officer searches Mr Willamay's bag. The situation rapidly deteriorates when Mr Willamay throws down another bag and a scuffle breaks out. And that's when a third party becomes involved. There was no apparent need for force to be used. And um, so I just sort of mentioned that. And then quite suddenly the officer turned on me and uh, pursued me and I was then arrested. Chris Randall was charged with obstructing police in their duties. And it was he who applied for and was granted this video footage to use in his court hearing. It was so absurd. It was like, this is... Ridiculous. This is not the first time a heavy-handed police arrest has been captured on Brisbane City Council surveillance cameras. Two years ago, old age pensioner Bruce Rowe was harshly dealt with after taking too long to get changed in a public toilet. Charges against him were quashed by Queensland's highest court only last month. Last week, Chris Randall had his day in court. Magistrate Graham Lee dismissed the charge and awarded costs to Mr Randall. The magistrate found the officer who arrested Mr Willemay and searched his bag had acted unlawfully, as police don't have the power to arrest someone simply because they're drinking in public. Peter Willemay's case was heard by a different magistrate without the video footage. He was found guilty and fined $400.